This exercise concentrates on developing speed and strength for young players. The squad is split into four groups working simultaneously at different stations. At station one, the players must jump over the first two hurdles, crouching down in between, touching the cones with both hands. After the third hurdle, the players do plyometric consecutive jumps to the final hurdle before sprinting to the end marker. The coach emphasises the need for players to land on the balls of their feet, having as minimal contact with the ground as possible. They are encouraged to lean slightly forward rather than upright when jumping, and to gain more momentum should use their arms to push off. At station two, the players practice jumping off one foot only. At the yellow cones, they take off from the right foot and at the orange markers, they use their left foot. When they have done two jumps off both sides, they sprint to the end cone. Once again, the coach insists on minimal contact with the ground when landing and quick acceleration after the final jump. The third station is two jumps forward and one to the side. The players can choose which side they want to go to, but must make sure they practice working both right and left. The station is the quickest because it has fewer jumps, but the coach still emphasizes the point of minimal contact and that players should land on one foot after the final jump to enable them to accelerate quicker. At the fourth station, the players work in pairs. One player carries the other on his back up to the yellow marker before dropping him and accelerating to the end cone. At the end of each run, the players switch roles. Because it is more physically demanding, players only perform five repetitions at the fourth station. At all others, they each do eight runs before rotating to the next station. It is important to note that the coach insists that the players walk back to the start after each run. This allows them time to recover and to be able to give maximum effort each time.